All right, guys, we're back with another commentary. This is going to be a part three, and this should be the final one. This gameplay is another 10 minutes and 30 seconds long, so sit back, get you a bag of Doritos, and we'll go. All right, <laughs> so we left off on uh, Modern Warfare 3, and uh, by the way, that last gameplay was a uh, 20, no, it was a 32 and 8, I believe. Sorry, I forgot to show the scoreboard. I'm recording in theater because my HD PVR is freezing a lot, which is pretty awesome because I just bought it about two weeks ago. Anyway. Uh, it freezes whenever I try to record the gameplay live, so I'm recording it in theater, unfortunately, but you guys are just going to have to deal with it because, I mean, the theater still works pretty well on this, so. Anyway, we left off on Modern Warfare 3, so we pretty much were last talking about the uh, specialist bonus a little bit. The specialist bonus was really cool, and uh, I guess we'll talk about some other kill streaks and some of the other packages that were implemented in the game. You already know I'm talking about the support package. Now, I'm not going to lie. The support package was a good idea on paper and everything. And it would have been fine, in my opinion, if they would have tweaked a few things. If they would have tweaked uh, the fact that I don't get why Stealth Bomber was in there. I mean, I can understand because it's, you know, it's support. You're supporting your team. You're trying to push the enemy back. And I can see why in a um, logical, you know, standpoint. Because it does make sense in a logical world. But this is a video game, so... Uh, they kind of should have saw that coming with the Call of Duty community, you know, the fact that they try and look for shortcuts, and they try and, you know, find the, you know, easiest setups, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I understand, you know, people just want an easy, you know, easier way out because they try and make the game as easy as possible, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, that's fine. That's why I like Call of Duty. You know, it has multiple, um, you know, multiple abilities to allow you to have a different play style. Uh, some people want to challenge yourself. Some people just want to relax, you know, and do their thing. So that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, Bob, do you want to give any final opinions on Modern Warfare 3 before we get to uh, Black Ops 2? Um, one thing I do have to say is I'm not sure why they put the EMP in Specialist, but I really think they shouldn't have. You mean so Support, you think? Sorry, yeah. support. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's Sorry. that's fine. Dude. But uh, yeah. <laughs> they really, I don't think they should have done that. That was kind of like it makes sense that you're supporting your team, right? But like it's I said, a little about the overboard, bar. right? And uh, you know, the thing is with these developers too. If you know, heck, if any of them see this commentary, which is most likely unlikely, but if they are to see this commentary, guys, look, I love your product. You make some amazing products. You really do. It's just, there's a few, the thing is when you're making these things, you got to think, and this is really sad to say, but you got to kind of think, how can this be abused? And that'll help you make a really good game. you got to think the worst possible way it can be abused. And, you know, you got to think, how are people going to use it, uh, you know, to fit in their, uh, I guess, the benefit themselves. And, you know, this isn't a, a negative part of this. I'm not being negative about this. I'm just saying, to make a game better, I'm just trying to help you, you know, you out so you can, uh, help us have a really cool game, you know, and try and balance it as best as you can. And it, it'll definitely help them I mean, in the long run. You got to think, you know, what can, uh, how can this be abused? Obviously, I mean, uh, for instance, uh, okay, one man army, you know, off of Modern Warfare 2, one man army and then danger close, you know, that was a huge problem. Obviously, it wasn't intended to do that, and neither was the tactical insertions to use for boosting. Uh, we'll talk about that in Black Ops 2 also. Uh, I have a few. Um, I actually put up a video the other day about this, you know, and I'll talk about it later. But anyway, yeah, I mean, if you just think some ways something could be abused, you'll make a great game, guys. I definitely have no doubt that you'll make an amazing game. Uh, you guys have definitely made some amazing games in the past, and your games are still amazing. It's just some of the things that get abused and make it a little bit more difficult to enjoy. But I still like them. They're you know they're fun to, when they're fun, and they're not as fun when they're you know when you're struggling when people are kind of uh, acting a little bit cheap with some of their tactics. But you know, um, the reason I want to stretch this out a little bit longer is because I forgot this is a longer gameplay. And, you haven't really played Black Ops 2. You've only seen a few videos and stuff of it, so uh, we won't really have that much to talk about, really, except for me. So, um, I guess I can talk about some of the weapon balance in Modern Warfare 3, and in, in a positive way, of course. There was a pretty decent weapon balance. I mean, you could pretty much use any gun and do pretty well. I mean, there was really no gun that you could struggle with, as far as I remember. I mean, I used pretty much every gun in the game. Uh, that. Some of the guns I didn't really get into, like it was on and off, was the FAD. I mean, I know it was a good gun, especially after they, they patched it. It was an amazing gun, but I just never used it. I don't know why. I just, uh, I couldn't stay on that gun. Too. Yeah, it was weird. Like, I actually liked the gun, but I just didn't stay on it for whatever reason. It was a cool gun. 
it sounded yeah. cool and it you know looked pretty cool. I just I don't know. A, it was weird. Had a really high rate of fire. Yeah, I don't remember how much it was statistically, but it was roughly around a thousand rounds a minute, which is pretty awesome. I like guns Especially with a uh, assault rifle. Yeah, and I think it was balanced. A lot of people, oh, heck, I've never heard anybody say it was uh, unbalanced or overpowered. Oh, I ha I had people yell at me before saying that I was a noob because I was using FAD and I was kicking their ass. So <laughs> I don't know. Some people have mixed opinions about it, but I mean, I thought it was fine. I did some yeah, guns in that game. And we'll talk about this too. Like, uh, guys, I've talked about this in maybe a previous commentary. I didn't really cover it too well, probably, but uh, that was when I was just getting used to commentary, and I think I've gotten much better within the uh, past few months. But uh, I can be a little bit more proficient in what I'm talking about now. So a lot of people are – it's hard to differ between what's overpowered and what's overused, really. It really is. It, you know, I mean, Blob, do you got any opinions on – how difficult it is to differ between it being overused and overpowered because a lot of people they'll say a weapon's overpowered, but it may just be overused and you know I mean it, it really is a lot of people are saying well if it's overused then isn't it overpowered I mean uh, that's not necessary I mean not necessarily I mean okay, so what is your well, opinion on it? One thing I'm gonna say is I don't know anything really that I can think of in Call of Duty of a weapon that's overused but not overpowered. So I'm gonna say this. Uh, in Halo 4, the assault rifle is a very overused weapon, but it's not as powerful as people say it is. Right. So that, that's the only example I can think of. Right. So, um, I'm trying to think of a gun that was overused. Um, I'm trying to think of Call of Duty. There was a few guns that were overused, but they weren't really overpowered, at least what I thought. They weren't overpowered. Oh, I'm trying to think. I got one. Well, this could be overpowered in some ways, but the intervention in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I think it was uh, used so much is because people, that was when uh, quick scoping and stuff blew up, and a lot of people, yeah. they wanted to, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen some amazing montages, and you guys, I respect for what you do, I mean, you make some really cool, you do a really good job with your work, and I can definitely respect that, because I have no editing skills whatsoever as far as some of that goes, but that probably halfway has to something to do with uh, the fact that my computer's not made for editing, one, and for two, uh, I have no uh, edit. Well, I actually did just recently purchase some editing software, but my computer won't run it, so want 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 about that, so whatever. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, you got the software, now your computer won't run it, you know. And not a big deal, I'll get the computer eventually, and uh, I'll be able to put some, uh, my gameplay will hopefully look a little bit, um, how do you explain, it's more clear, more a little bit crisp. Hopefully I can get those uh, black lines off the side that, it doesn't annoy me, but some people like, and I haven't had any comments about it, but for some reason commentators say like it annoys them, and uh, I don't know, like, I don't really care. I mean, they're not noticeable, and for one, it's not like you're really going to look at the very far right edge of your screen and be like, oh man, there's a black line. Dislike, you know, it's like really, it's not like you're going to do that, so I don't know why people dislike the black lines, black line swag, man. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but that's what I was wanting to point out. Hopefully, I'll figure out how to do that again. You know, it takes time for me to get better, but the video quality, I think, is pretty good. I mean, for 720p, and hopefully, you guys can deal with it until I get better software. But, um... I haven't even noticed. I thought it was a lot better than that. <laughs> yeah. But that's just me. Yeah. And, uh, seeing as, you know, there's only a few minutes left, there's still about three. Uh, I'll get to Black Ops 2 in a minute, you know, my opinions about it. And uh, I still have a lot of positive words to say about Black Ops 2, but I was also going to say this, like, uh, you know, uh, guys, I really do hope you enjoy these commentaries. You know, I'm trying my hardest, and I just swapped the character. Wow, fail. Okay. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. But, yeah, theater mode's awesome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I accidentally hit the left trigger. That was by accident. Anyway. Guys, I am working really hard on these commentaries, and uh, I hope it does pay off. And, you know, I hope you do like them, and obviously let me know how I can improve. I always want to hear your comments. It, it really does mean a lot. But um, I guess we'll go into Black Ops 2, and you don't really have any opinions about it, and, uh, and that's understandable because you haven't really played it, and, you know, you've been doing your own thing there. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and give my opinions about it. So you guys know I like to rush, and uh, I've been getting into SMGs lately. And the maps are pretty much made for SMGs and shotguns. So this game fits me pretty well. 
Uh, it really does. Now, obviously, you die by getting sneezed on a lot in this game. It feels like you just, achoo, <laughs> dead. You know, you die just instantly. You're just done, die, snap of a finger. And sometimes it takes, like, um, about ten bullets to shoot someone, it seems like, for me. I think that has a lot to do with the weird matchmaking and lag Back comp, camera. all that. Right, and, you know, that's not a, you know, I just hope they get it fixed. And I'm pretty sure they will. Just give them a little bit of time, guys, and, you know, they'll make the game even better. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, dual commentary with me and my friend Blob here. You know, we uh, really had fun doing it. Um, I guess I will see you guys in the next commentary. Blob, uh, sign us out. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Peace. All right. All right, guys. See you.